Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, layoffs at ICON have been confirmed. Airbus Perlin Mission 2 goes for world aviation record. And Lilium Electric Air Taxi takes its first flight. Happy Monday and welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. News of company layoffs at Icon Aircraft come after another A5 aircraft sinks. An unsuccessful attempt to raise more capital and General Aviation Manufacturers Association statistics showing Icon's production targets aren't being met. A company spokesperson stated less than 20 positions had been cut this week as part of an organizational realignment and stated their current employee count remains at nearly 700. Last week, an Icon A5 sunk up to wing level and had to be winched out of the water for repair, after witnesses stated it had suffered a hard landing. The company's promises of completing 12 to 20 airframes a month has not been reached, as Gamma noted their first quarter production was only 14 aircraft, less than 5 aircraft a month. Icon is not, at this time, an exhibitor for AirVenture 2019, and they have been absent from other high-profile events. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Un einem globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies, and we stand behind you. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting news coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's Around the Patch. NASA will provide University of Illinois researchers $6 million over the span of three years to develop a new approach for all-electric aircraft. The program is called the Center for Cryogenic High Efficiency Electrical Technologies for Aircraft, or CHEETA, and will focus on creating a fully electric aircraft platform that uses cryogenic liquid hydrogen as an energy storage method. They hope to cut back on greenhouse gas emissions in the transportation industry, as air travel in the U.S. alone is expected to increase 90% in the next 20 years. Boom Supersonic is using a 3D experience platform developed by Dassault Systems to accelerate the development of Overture, its Mach 2.2 commercial airliner, with the goal of making supersonic travel mainstream and affordable. Using this technology, they can cut the development time of their first prototype in half and improve product quality by reducing program complexity, cost and resources, lowering the barriers to market entry. Flight Safety International has named David Davenport as their president and CEO. Most recently, he worked as the co-CEO and president commercial. Previous co-CEO Raymond Johns will continue as president government and manufacturing. For the second year, women in aviation members and friends will visit the graves of women Air Force Service pilots and leave flags, flowers, or a note during Memorial Weekend. For more information and for an up-to-date database of WASP graves in the U.S., head to wai-crc.com. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B Models. The B Models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. 
Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. The Airbus Perlin Mission 2 has launched its fourth season of operations. The glider is the first engineless aircraft designed to reach the edge of space. And when it goes to Patagonia later this year, the team aims to break the world aviation record for sustained level flight. Last year, the team set a new world record at 76,124 feet pressure altitude, exceeding the U-2 spy plane record of 74,000 feet. The goal for this year is to have the glider soar up to its maximum altitude of 90,000 feet, surpassing the only wingborne aircraft to fly that high above the Earth's atmosphere, the SR-71 Blackbird. The glider's true flight speed at its maximum altitude will be almost 400 miles an hour. A passive pressurization system will protect the crew, where air density is less than 2% sea level pressure. Lilium's five-seater air taxi prototype, the Lilium Jet, took its maiden flight in Germany earlier this month. The full-scale and weight prototype is powered by 36 all-electric jet engines that allow vertical takeoff and landing while also achieving horizontal flight. With a top speed of 169 knots and a range of 160 nautical miles, the jet is capable of long journeys. While many drone-based aircraft consume much of their energy keeping themselves in the air, the Lilium jet can rely on the lift generation by the fixed wings to do this, meaning it will require less than 10% of its maximum 2,000 horsepower during cruise flight. The remote control prototype aircraft has begun a rigorous flight test campaign, and the jet will be part of an on-demand air taxi service, and Lilium expects to be fully operational in various cities around the world by 2025. And that's it for today, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And head to aero-news.net for the latest aviation and aerospace news. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for Airborne Amand.